to imagine that it would get, you know, some sales and then end up as a Netflix movie with Billy Piper playing me. I mean, you'd think I was drunk if I said that. Obviously, when you were writing the account of the story of kind of getting this interview, did you ever envisage you know, it being turned into a film and, and you being played by Billy Piper. I mean, that sentence is so mad in itself, right, Patrick? Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't envisage that even for a second. You know, I thought basically my mum would read the book. I felt hugely lucky to get to write a book even, particularly in the current climate. So to imagine that it would get, you know, some sales and then end up as a Netflix movie with Billy Piper playing me. I mean, you'd think I was drunk if I said that. So it, I couldn't have imagined it, even if I was being really fantastical. Yeah. yeah. And then, Philip, how did you kind of come on board the project? What was your kind of way into, into this? And, and, and how did, why did you decide that this was a story that you wanted to play well, a part in the town? Like everybody, I, I saw the original interview mm -hmm. and then I heard uh, after the interview that Andrew had walked away from it thinking that it had gone really well. And that felt mm -hmm. like super interesting territory for a drama to inhabit the difference between those two sort of uh, two states, if you yeah. like. And um, then I read the script. Um, Peter Moffat, I, a wonderful writer who I've worked with before, the very first the very first drama that I did was uh, about, for the BBC, was about um, Stephen Hawking. And um, Peter and I worked together on that. And I know he's an amazing writer. And um, he was telling uh, a story that I thought was a way into the subject yeah. that was so interesting via Sam's book and via Sam's perspective of the three women who come together to, 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 to get the interview and to um, all different people, all with their different uh, personalities and different um, s sort of connections to the story. But somehow that, 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 that way into the story felt like something that was fresh and interesting and, and a new way to look at, uh, 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 at the royal family. I'd worked um, as a director on the first two seasons of The Crown. I was very involved in all of that sort of stuff. But in, in a way, with The Crown, you were inside the bubble, looking out. And this, with Sam's uh, perspective on the story, it's of all of us uh, on the outside going into the palace. And it just felt like a new way to tell the story, a fresh way to tell the story, an exciting way to tell the story. But scary, mm -hmm. because, um, you know, it's hard to do... The, the, the interview has become so iconic uh, and uh, so people know it really well. So it was it was something that, um, you know, is exciting but scary. Were there any of those kind of behind the scenes aspects that you were especially keen for the kind of the world to see and, and kind of know more about how these interviews come about? What any kind of specific conversations that you really wanted to be included in the film? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the interview itself, as you know, Philip said, is iconic, but it's about 5% of what this film is about. And in a sense, I'm, if you like as a producer on behalf of other producers and people behind the scenes, 95% of it happens before that moment. Hmm. That's not to detract from the brilliance of people like Emily in any way whatsoever. But I think the average person always asks me, how did this happen? What was your job? And the joy of this movie is showing that, revealing that. You're literally side by side with me. Well, Billy, it's all very meta. <laughs> You're side by side with me. You're going, oh my gosh, how did this start? Well, let me tell you. What was that like for you? Well, let me show you. Was that stressful? Yes, it was. Let's see that. How did this happen? Well, we can show you how it happened. So the journey, if you like, answers that question. The journey is how do moments of journalism like this happen? Who makes them happen? And what's that like to experience it? And those are the three things we're trying to answer in this. And it's interesting that it's set against a backdrop of obviously kind of cuts to to journalism, which is obviously still still happening at the moment. Was that something also that you were keen to kind of put across the importance of having well-funded journalism to bring moments like this. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's the irony of the situation that obviously Newsnight has been curtailed and other areas of this incredibly important work have been curtailed. Mm -hmm. This film is a story of women, of women in journalism, of hard work. It's an homage to the Newsnight team, to the BBC, and most profoundly to the importance of journalism. And at this really crucial time for the future of journalism, I hope people will take a moment to think, gosh, this is why it matters, because journalism makes these moments happen mm -hmm. and the movie really encapsulates the importance of that hard work. Yeah.